and we're live uh for those of you watching after the stream thanks for stopping by uh today we're getting our street sweeper leveled up against my will and uh hopefully our stream doesn't mess up today i've been going back and forth with my isp and they claim that it should be working now so let's see bars also let me change some of these settings real quick it is not the right video this one Where is the genre? There it is, or category, gaming, Cold War. What's going on, Luke, Capital Hells, Blitzo, Mr. Tony, Jeff, Nathan, Lucas, Braden, Samuel, Reese, hmm? What's up, Kristen, Colin, Matthew, Skittles, Dope Miss Prime, Dominic, Ricky, Smurt, what's up, Ollie, Cyan, Drew, Joseph, Maria, Burley, Johnny, what's going on, Andrew? What's going on, Tyson? Andrew, hold on, guys, give me one second. Let me set up these settings, and I'm gonna open up the lobby. So, the unfortunate day has come to where we have to level up our Street Sweeper. And we have to beat Legion with it once we're done, so that's gonna suck, like, a lot. But we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll try it out. And yeah, we are doing open lobbies. Speaking of which, I'll accept any firm quest that I have right now. And let's open up the party. Party privacy. Friends only. And I got lucky today when I got on. And I got a double weapon XP token from a free bundle. So that's nice. My daily reward is just a normal double XP. But uh, at least I got one double weapon XP. I don't know if I'm going to play much Modern Warfare 2, Maria. I don't know. I'm not really into it right now. And Zombies is doing well. Last time I uploaded like Modern Warfare 2 stuff, it did pretty bad. And I'm just not that into the game. It seems like it's taking a step in the right direction, but it's like I don't care too much about it anymore. Does it actually hells? Because I feel like it don't have enough range and then the reload's going to suck because I don't have uh, Aether Shroud fully upgraded. So let me see. Yeah, if we had it upgraded one tier to instantly reload it, it would be a lot better. But we only get to upgrade Speed Cola. And what does the Speed Cola upgrade do? It's not... It's, I, I, I'm i still... Like, I don't believe Speed Cola does a whole lot in this game, so I was a little disappointed with that upgrade, but I guess it's better than nothing. Let's do some 3 region. I'm just not into Modern Warfare 2 at the moment. I don't know. I'm bored of it. Yeah, we're playing Reload Simulator today. I'm going in with Ring of Fire, though, so maybe that'll help a little bit. We're not We're not playing on Foreskin, no. Oh, of course. I already see we're getting uh, drop frames, which is perfect. Come on, dude. I can't ever catch a break with my internet. It's so annoying. I even restarted it already. I already restarted my modem. Unplugged everything. Plugged it back in. My ISP is just screwing me, so I hope it's not too bad today. What's up, Chase? I do exclamation point ID to add me. So if at any point today, if the stream goes down, it starts lagging or whatever, I'll just probably go live again. I don't know what's how, how it's going to work. Yeah, Modern Warfare 3 was officially announced. And, like, the whole marketing campaign for it is that it's better than Modern Warfare 2. Like, they're doing everything differently. I not get burnt out on zombies? I have before. Like, last year I got pretty burnt out on it. But, I don't know. I like grinding camos. And I'm taking more time in between videos, too. So, I think that helps instead of doing a video a day. I did see the new trailer. I mean, it's nothing, like, too crazy. We all knew it was going to be Modern Warfare 3, but... It's cool, I guess. But let me know if the lag is too bad. Because it's already telling me I'm getting drop frames. So hopefully it, it evens out. What are we doing after the shotguns? Whatever gets voted on. Are they adding in survival mode? I don't think they are, are they? They're adding in some, like, Outbreak-type zombies mode. 
Come on, George. How many guns do I need? Basically all of them. We only have one class plague diamond, really. We got like a, a fake plague diamond on our melees because it just like gave it to us, but we don't actually have it done. Ready to work. It's my favorite wonder weapon in this game, the Cerberus for sure. The Cerberus is nasty. Great weapon. What's going on, Colt Eat? And this thing has zero range. You sure this is nice against Legion Hells? I feel like this is going to be an awful experience trying to beat Legion with this. I'm already annoyed with the, the reload on it. There's no reason why it should take this long. Let's go, Drew. All right, who's hopping on this bike with me? I reverse. Oh, I just push back on the stick. I'm so used to like using the triggers to reverse and go forward. If you build it for distance, okay, I'll try to build it for distance. We'll try to get it fully leveled today. Not just enough to get the camos for it. I don't even know how I'm going to grind the camos for it if I'm playing Outbreak. Maybe I'll just try to get as many camos as I can while we're leveling it. That way we can get a uh, gold viper for it during the fight. Get speed cola first. I still don't believe speed cola does a whole lot. I mean, I'm still going to get it. But speed cola is like such a minor difference in like speed for this game. Like it had such a glow down from other like zombies games. So it feels like bad. It's going on ultra. Maybe if we get a decent amount of levels early in this game, I'm actually, no, I could probably just go to an armor stand and change out my attachments. I was going to say, maybe I should back out and just get a, like change to a, like a larger mag or something. This gun's as annoying as it is. Uh, there should be a command for my favorite guns. I do like fave gun. But basically the M79. That thing's a monster. Is there a ladder to get on this roof? There is, but it's super far away. You have to get all five guns, Plague Diamond, or just one? And once you get all the weapons in a weapon class, whatever the amount is, once you get those all gold viper, you'll get that class Plague Diamond. But if you want to get Plague Diamond on any other weapons outside of what you've done, you have to get those gold viper. It doesn't just unlock it for every weapon in that class. The only problem with like re-rolling attachments at the armor stand is that it always gives you just like awful attachments and you get no scrap for it. Outbreak do got the best levels though, Gruff. You can hate on Outbreak all you want, but we be getting nice levels here for the most part. Speed Cole, you get the fuel upgrade quicker. That's only if you have uh, Speed Cole tiered up, I'm pretty sure. We will get it tiered up for the video, but I can't upgrade it until I record. Is Marvel for 3 Zombies going to be Gold Duck Cold War? No, I would not expect it to be. It's going to be an Outbreak type mode. It just go into it with your expectations of it being worse than Cold War Outbreak. That's what I'm going in with. I'm not going to get hyped about it. I'm trying to do this gun for three days now. DM hyper. Also, thank you for the two. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for supporting the channel. This gun sucks. It's bad. Oh, Cameron. With a 699. Thank you, Cameron. How do you add you in game? What's the tag? Love the Cold War content? Thank you, dude. Uh, just do x point ID and then look for Nightbot's chat. It should put in my Activision ID. Let's go, Brandon. Oh, 
wild. But congrats to the M79. Let's see if we can even kill this Megaton with this. It is only red tier. I thought he was about to beat my ass. Also, I've been working on a, a another uh, like long form video. It's not really long form, but it's like commentary mixed with gameplay of me doing uh, all the first room challenges. It's been taking me a little bit to get done, but I'm getting pretty close to it. And I think I might try to upload that before the street sweeper video. But there, there's going to be a sponsor. Oh, I got to jump off of this. Oh shit. And I'm in the water. I'm dead. <laughs> I tried to escape, but I couldn't climb. But there's going to be a sponsor in it. So I have to wait for them to approve the, the sponsor part. But I, I've been having a lot of fun going into like these videos, trying to put a lot of effort into it and like, you know, making it higher quality instead of just trying to pump out videos every day. It's, it's, it's helping me not get burnt out too. Oh, we got speed call from that. How lucky. What's going on, Matt? So I hope you guys enjoy it when it comes out. I feel like Modern Warfare 3 is going to be as rushed as broken as Va Vanguard. I don't think so. I don't know how they do that again. But I wouldn't be surprised. What's going on, Matt? Is this your third account you're getting Dark Aether on? Yes, sir. You're going to do every Easter egg to get Epic Rarity? Eventually, yeah. I wanted to do it and like do every Easter egg in a video. But we keep getting Easter eggs as challenges for our, our Dark Aether. Like people just be like, do this gun while doing an Easter egg. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. Maybe I still will. Eventually, we're going to end up doing all the Easter eggs to get it. But I don't know if I'm still going to do the video of me doing every Easter egg in the same video. Is the single AMP good against Legion? I feel like there's no need to use a single AMP. You might as well use both. No, I haven't Warhawk. I don't know what that is. I have not touched Modern Warfare 2 since like a little bit into Season 4. Yeah, that's true, Chase. I like, yeah, I don't have like a crazy amount of faith in Modern Warfare 3, but the whole marketing for it is that they're going to do the opposite of what they did for Modern Warfare 2. So I don't know. I just can't wait for Treyarch's next game. That's all I'm waiting for. How do people get the purple gun when they start the game? They do all the Easter eggs. Every single one of them. Then you have to go to the zoom map and outbreak. And once you're there... Oh, there's no way I'm hitting this thing. But once you're in the zoom map and outbreak, there should be like a bunch of pillars out in the, the hills. And you go up to it and you initiate the pact. And once you do that... You'll be able to start every game with a purple tier rarity if you got every single Easter egg done. What's with them always removing like shoe house and shipment? I think shipment's probably like a staple in there now. Like I don't think they've removed that in a bit, but I feel like there should always be a shoe house playlist and a shipment playlist, and then they add in whatever else they want. <laughs> exactly, Chase. This abusive COD relationship where they just get my hopes up and then dash them every year. I don't know if they will make a BO2 remake. I feel like that's a pretty lofty goal. All right. And then for those of you in game, I'm going to hit these orbs. Everybody run to the hills. That way we're not getting blasted by them. So let's hope I don't die. I hope... Oh, it's you fucking lucky, Lou. Why y'all want to see me in pain? You don't want to see me have a good time? <laughs> you want to see me use the most ass gun against the hardest boss in the game? What's the deal? Yeah, I agree, Hells. I think... I think Infinite Warfare... Or Infinite Warfare, that's high red, IW. Infinity Ward's IPs... Like, I feel like the Modern Warfare characters and everything are better. But they just... They're so... 
they got their heads stuck so far up their own asses that they just enjoy the way their own fart smell i, I don't know where i'm going with this but it seems like they are immune to any feedback any feedback that comes their way they go nah we know better and they just do like the opposite sledgehammer at least seems like they they listen to the fans and they'll be like okay people don't like this we'll try this or or they aren't receiving this well maybe we go in a different direction like it, it seems like sledgehammer definitely listens way more but their last few games have been you know not either like a good genre like world war ii or it's just i don't know been disappointing in another way Cold War zombie story was kind of mid. I, it wasn't the craziest story, but I like how I didn't have to watch like 40 hours of like lore to figure it out or do like some insanely complicated Easter eggs and listen to like small radios throughout the map to figure it out. Like if I had to sit there and go through like the whole like Intel tab to figure out what was going on in the story, I feel like that's awful. What's going on, Patty? Complete 180 from how you're feeling at the end of Vanguard. Yeah, I agree. I feel like even though I stopped playing Vanguard, it seemed like they were listening to what some people were saying about like gameplay changes and like perk changes and weapon changes and things like that. It seems like they, they actually cared about trying to make the game a little better. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's COD. They're dropping a new game every year. We, we're we probably not going to get any like crazy good games anymore. I'm just hoping that the next Treyarch Zombies game is good. That's all we can hope for. True, Chase. That is true. It all still is under, like, Activision's umbrella, and they can just tell them to do whatever they want. So even if they did want to make, like, a better game or do something different, it all comes down to them at the end of the day. But I feel like... Infinity Ward's been around for so much longer that they get more of a say in it, and their say kind of fucking sucks. And that is true. As long as it's making money, they don't need to change anything. Because all they really have to do is cater to, like, the more casual players, not the people that, like, consume it every day. And they're chilling. Because they're still making billions of dollars. Yeah, I've, do I've done videos on all the Easter eggs like a few times. And we've done BO3 customs before. I don't know if there's anything like... Cra well, there there was like some new maps that came out. Like Noah J did like a whole like movie like contest. Like make maps based off like movies or something. So there's probably some good ones, but I haven't played them in a bit. Well, they didn't... Microsoft didn't specifically buy Treyarch. They bought all of, like, Activision Blizzard. And the sale hasn't completely gone through yet. But I don't see them making, like, a huge impact and, like, COD turning around. I feel like all they're going to do is just, you know, try to make money for them. But I feel like it's better than, you know, like, Bobby Kotick running it. Yeah, I think these orbs are all done. Giving us zombies. We can break them. BO3 is the last completed COD. It is like a really good COD. I didn't play the multiplayer a whole lot, but just the zombies alone is really good. And them adding in like custom apps is crazy. If there's no way they're going to have a Black Ops game without zombies. And if they do, then I feel like that's when I just stop buying the games. It's like that's the big thing in the Black Ops games. Why, why get rid of it? My favorite Pokemon? Probably like Mew or Ditto. Both bangers. Alright, see you, Lou. You sick, twisted fuck. There's also a Cold War update today. I don't know what it did, but it was like 10 gigs. 7 gigs, something like that. I think it's another security update. Maybe. Because I have no idea what it did. Well, it's not like they're going to 
take COD completely off PlayStation. It'd be stupid to do that. It's Xbox is struggling as it is. There's no way they just make COD an exclusive. Just because Microsoft bought it doesn't mean they're just going to hold it away from all their consoles. Yeah, this is my third time grinding camos in Cold War Zombies, Jacob. I do not, Will. That seems like a D's joke. How are these orbs still alive? Oh, probably because I can't fucking aim, that's why. This is my favorite COD. I, Cold War is my favorite COD, Logan. Modern Warfare 3 is going to have zombies, or at least that's like rumored to. But it's not going to be like anything crazy. I'm kind of on nothing crazy. I only have two bullets left. You guys got to shoot these things down. Rally on that anomaly site. Nice, one more. Yeah, I'm out of ammo. Y'all got to shoot that thing. Let's go. And I'm not going to lie to you, I'm going to take this pack of punch chalice. Let's go. I just needed that extra ammo. What's our main event? Eliminate? Oh, escort. The worst one. Foreskin or, or D machina? What am I? If I'm high rounding, D machina. If I'm just playing and goofing, I, li I like Forsaken better. Honestly, Cold War is carrying. Such a great game. What guns am I looking forward to? Anything that's not ass. Like, I, I am... It's... It's a little conflicting because you guys always try to, like, recommend me to do the worst fucking weapons in the game. Which sucks. Like, doing, like, the ZRG, the Street Sweeper, like, all those, like, really slow, bad guns. But eventually, we're just going to be out of them, and any other gun that will be better than this. Let's go, Jacob. What's going on, Beast? Oh, that would be crazy if they made the zombies like a free-to-play thing. Isn't DMZ free-to-play? Or do you have to pay to play DMZ? I don't remember. I don't remember if that's under like the Warzone umbrella, technically. I, I did see that hyper, that they, they fixed all those uh, servers for the older CODs. I actually got my 360 out the other day, but to play Guitar Hero. Uh, I don't think we've done the AK yet. If you go to our most recent Gold Viper video, uh, you'll be able to see the top comment of everything that we got done. M16 or Carve? M16. Carve's still good, but I feel like I've used the M16 way more. And on top of that, there's like... I don't think there's a single Carve wall buy. So the M16 just for convenience alone, because there's like a M16 wall buy on like a few maps. I can just apply my blueprint to it. So I can always just have like a reliably good weapon. Hopping into a game. I do not play Dead Ops really. I haven't played it like at all. I played a little bit of it, but... I don't think I've ever like beat it. And like beat the mama back or whatever. The Gallo or the Hower? The Gallo. I'm, I'm team Gallo, just because it's like full auto. Honestly, I don't even know what the worst weapon in Modern Warfare 2 is anymore. I haven't played it in a bit. I would probably say the Riot Shield now. Because they made it like, what, th a three hit kill, which is ridiculous. And didn't nerf it being on the back at all. But camos are pretty easy in that game. It's not too difficult. That is pretty sick hyper. Maybe I'll hop on there. I'll hop on some uh, older CODs. I kind of want to play like 
Black Ops 1 zombies online on there and see what that's like. I, I play on both. Uh, when I play on my main account, Jacob, I'll play on PC. But for all my Dark Aether accounts, I play on PlayStation because I can just make a new PlayStation like profile and then just still hop on Cold War. So I still play both. I'm not like one or the other. But Deadshot is like supreme when you're using a controller. I have tried BO1. I, I played through all those maps and like tried to master them, but I have not played Infinite Warfare yet. Same with Advanced Warfare. I need to play those. Successful data link established. We're receiving now. Appreciate the help. You think it would be a top five or top ten zombies if it had more maps? There's not, is there even ten zombies games? So it's definitely top ten. If it had more maps, it would it would definitely be up there. But I still like Cold War a lot. It's what got like got me into zombies in general. Probably not Gage. I don't know. Maybe I'll stream it one of these days, but I don't know if I'll make any videos on Marvel for two, at least for a bit. Oh, uh, we only go off of top comment, uh, Logan. So whatever gets top comment on those uh, Gold Viper videos is what I do. Also, is the stream lagging at all? Cause I did get those uh, drop frame notifications earlier. I haven't gotten any sense then. Hell yeah, Mike. Of GFY, Joshua. It's the easiest gold viper. It's still lagging. It is lagging. Damn, dude, that's fucking annoying. I don't know what I got to do because I just I call my ISP constantly. I get my shit reset. Maybe after this game, I'll, I'll end stream and restart my Internet again. That's so ass, dude. Not much. How bad is it, though? Like, what, what's it like when it's lagging? Actually, I can just look at my own stream like a genius. Hold on. Let me get, um, like napalm on this or something. And can I upgrade this? Let's see. Now, maybe cause I'm not doing shit right now. It don't look like it's lagging bad, but it's so annoying. I hate having internet issues. It's the worst because there's like nothing I can do about it. I've changed out all my ethernet cables. I have a brand new modem and router. It's all on my, my ISP. It's like they love throttling me. Low frames. That fucking sucks. It was like a PowerPoint. Because we've had the problem where the stream just stops. Like it, it'll just end and I haven't touched anything. I, I could hells, but the thing is that shouldn't matter because I've been streaming at this quality like forever and I've I've had like long streams of streaming for like four or five hours at this quality and haven't had issues. It's like all of a sudden they just like start throttling me. It's not like it, I'm using crazy amounts of internet. I have my PlayStation on and my streaming computer on and my girlfriend's like watching uh, like streaming a movie, which isn't like crazy. My download speed's pretty high. It's at 900. My upload speed's like 45, which isn't like insane, but like that's the highest you get for a lot of ISPs. And I just restarted my modem and everything like right before stream, just in case this was an issue and it still is. The kittens are good. They're, they're getting crazy. They're, they're learning how to get into shit. They're learning they can jump high now and they're scratching the hell out of me. Yeah, I've had non-laggy streams here. Like every time we do, uh, we did like the round, a few round 100 streams where 
where I went to like round 150, there wasn't any issues there. We've done a few level up stream without any issues. It has been happening way more frequently in the new house, but I've had streams with no issues here. So I know it can be done. I just don't know why it's happening. Do I only stream on YouTube? For the most part. I stream on Twitch sometimes, but I haven't streamed on there in a while. I remember when I learned how I could jump high. They can jump like fucking like 12 times their height. It's crazy. Cats are fucking insane. Teach the kittens to cook up some blue. Somebody asked me that like yesterday. Like it was one of my friends like, what, what would you do if you found out your cats were cooking meth? And I, I'd say, I said I asked them to start paying up. Like where's my cut? Yeah, there, there's zero plans that have higher upload speed. I pay for like the, the best plan at this ISP too. I'm supposed to have like 1200 down and like 50 up, but it's never even like hit 50 up, which sucks. Like nobody offers like higher upload speeds anywhere. Like I, I wish I could get like gigabit installed. They don't have it in my area. There's like barely any areas like in Michigan that have gigabit. You'd have to like go to like either Detroit or I think uh, maybe Grand Rapids has it. I don't know. It's only like major cities that have gigabit, which sucks. Also, I'm shooting all the orbs again. So let's run away. Every plan is the same up and down. That's fucking beautiful. I wish, dude. I fucking wish. So they give me so many issues and I've called them before and I was on the phone with them forever talking to like a representative and they, they went through it and fixed it. And then it's like two weeks later, it happens again. It's like, what are y'all doing? And also, if y'all are in game, come over to these hills so the, the orbs can't get us. Oh, Will, Will and Kane, thank you guys for becoming members. Appreciate ya. Thanks for support. Sorry I missed that. I was ranting about my internet. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for supporting the channel. It does mean a lot. Uh-oh. That's why I want to run away. I, I might have said it a little too late. Best method for grinding camos for snipers is being patient. That's all you can really do. They're just slow. You can just train around uh, the, heli the helipad on Firebase C. That makes it kind of easier. But definitely have them all like attachment wise for like as fast like ADS and like firing speed as you can. I, I can't imagine one gigabyte up or whatever gigabit up gigabit internet would be fucking immaculate so i'm supposed to be getting 1200 down and i don't think i've ever seen like a thousand here i get 900 pretty frequently but not a thousand yeah i think the boys is a good show i just showed my girlfriend that like um a little bit ago I meant to hop on like Modern Warfare 2 and get the Homelander bundle. That way I have it for MW3, but I have not hopped on that game. I think last time I played was before Homelander dropped. Like it was only like Starlight out. I, I am known to be a nut enjoyer, Adam. About to upgrade. Two down and up? Chase, let me siphon some of that off you. That's fucking insane. I wish we had plans like that over here. So I think I pay like pretty close to that a month for my internet, and it's not—it's not even like half of that. That's fucked up. Let me get some. Mail me some internet. So I even made sure I was like, okay, maybe it's like my router, maybe it's my modem. So I have a brand new router. I have the modem my ISP gives me. It's the only one I, I can use. 
And then I even got like new ethernet cables and I connected it to my PlayStation, my gaming PC, my streaming PC. They're all like fucking, they're, they're way more than I need. I think they're like cat nine, which is way faster speeds than you really need. Does Homelander have any like good voice lines or anything? I haven't seen nothing on the, the skin besides like the finishers. No, I, I, I was using like, um, I think it was a cat six before, but I, I just upgraded all my ethernet cables the last time we were having like stream issues. I mean, you don't got much time left to get Dark Aether and Hinge. What's what's stopping you? Oh, OT with the 17 months. Thank you, OT. Appreciate you, dude. 17 months is a long fucking time. Appreciate you supporting me for that long. Even just watching that long is a long ass time. Closing out on that 20. Yes, sir, dude. Means a lot. Appreciate you. Feel bad for the homies with no ethernet cable. I don't even know what I was doing with my life before I started using ethernet cables. Like I would just try to play like CSGO on my computer with a, a mouse that had a little ball on it that you have to move your thumb with. Playing on Wi-Fi. Like an ethernet cable can change your fucking life. That's That sucks, Adam. I'm sorry, dude. It's definitely a good issue to have when you're not hitting like 1,000. Like, I could definitely have worse internet. And I'm grateful the inter for the internet that I got. But it's definitely not what I'm paying for is what I'm mad about. What's my favorite Pack-a-Punch camo between the Cold War maps? I think Mauer's like, camos are really good. Like, Mauer tier 3 is really nice. Forsaken's are all pretty good too. And I like uh, the final, like... Pack three camo on like D Machina, Firebase, and like Outbreak. I cannot hit this thing. Y'all gotta snipe it. Oh, let's go. Hell yeah, Logan. Appreciate that, dude. Thanks for watching. Alright, let's go do our eliminate event. Uh as pack camo on BO3. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember all of them. But I do really like, I know it's not specifically BO3, but it's in there. I think Origins pack camo is really nice. It's like that, that like icy blue. It's like the, the 115. It's nice. I'm sorry to hear that, Alex. I've seen a Doom and COD Zombies crossover. That'd be sweet. Yeah, OT, the only thing to use like Wi-Fi with is something that can't take an Ethernet cable. Or honestly, I don't use an Ethernet cable for like my Switch or nothing. That seems like overkill. Because fucking Nintendo servers barely work as it is anyways. But I'll plug an Ethernet cable into anything that I'll, that like uses it. Hell yeah, Zach. Enjoy that PS5, man. Oh, because school's starting up. I get ya. Levels beyond 30 take much longer. I agree. Leveling up just takes forever. I don't know, man. You just gotta kick it into gear. Try playing like Onslaught to get camos in um, levels at the same time. Like do Outbreak until you hit round 30 and then play Onslaught after. I'm doing good, Triangle. How you doing, man? John Wick? He's in Fortnite already. That would be pretty cool to have a John Wick skin, though. I feel like they would have dropped that with, like, the movie. We are at level... 18.
I haven't, I haven't played season five at all, Felix. I know Lego does all the bundle reviews. Maybe I'll check his out for uh, Homelander. Oh yeah, Logan. Oh, don't you fucking hit me, you bastard. Oh, we only go off top comment, Alex. So whatever makes top comment on the Dark Aether videos. Megatons do not need to have this much health. We basically have all the gun camos left to do. We got everything. We only have like one class plague diamond and that's snipers. We should get be getting Plague Diamond on our uh, shotguns after we do this one. What's going on, Cautious? A GTA collab? Get Nico Bellic in here. Damn, a lot of zombies spawned off that. I'll take it. That's free XP for me. Oh, in a fucking abomination. Can you die, please. Doing good, Paul. Having some internet issues, but besides that, I'm chilling. I'm definitely going to have a long talk with my ISP after this stream. I'm going to figure out what the fuck's happening because I cannot be having these issues anymore. Maybe I'll look into getting some other ISP. I'll see what's available. None of your friends play COD? They play Fortnite? Fortnite's still kind of a banger game. I'm not too into it anymore, but at least those devs kind of care about their game and they'll do shit with it. That's what I'm saying, Alex. And they're making me fight Legion with it too. Y'all just want to see me like hurting. You don't want to see me winning. Oh, that is true. They did uh, do attack on Titan in both games. It's not lagging anymore. That's good, at least. We'll see how long that stays. But it shouldn't do it at all. For what I pay for, this shit should be flawless. And I know it can work fine. I just don't know what the fuck they're doing over there. No, I haven't, Paul. I haven't... I haven't really been too interested in Modern Warfare 2. I don't even worry about it, OT. I'm just glad you, you make it when you can. You don't gotta apologize, man. Appreciate you being here. Do I play any other games? Uh, I've been playing Rocket League a bit with my friends. My girlfriend and I play like Power Wash Simulator. I've been thinking about getting into Pikmin. I have been kind of dry on games. I played Diablo for a bit, but then I, I don't know. I kind of just stopped playing. Let's go cautious. Uh, Jackson, do exclamation point ID if you want to add me on this account. Also, Paul, is the movement speed even, are the movement options even that, like, much better? Because I saw, like, clips of, like, s sliding just being slightly faster. And also, if they're going to do all that, why don't they listen to people at the beginning of the game instead of doing it, like, where there's only a few months left of the game? Like, why make change, like, changes that people were asking for this late? Appreciate you, OT. I have played Borderlands before. Chase and I played through like a lot of them. I've not played uh, like 
I think it's Tiny Tina's. Something like that. I have watched Chase's videos on those. What is that, Adam? I'm not going to say it just in case it's a D's joke. I ain't about to get got. Do exclamation point ID, Alex, and look for Nightbot's chat. You have three cats. They go insane if you don't feed them on time. My cats have started to figure out that they can come wake us up when they're hungry. And they think that's how they'll get food. Like, they come in, they, they go on the bed, and they'll start, like, jumping on us. Or, like, one, one of our cats is just a fucking psycho. And will try to, like, bite at our feet. Like, if you move under the covers, it'll bite whatever just moved. So she's been, like, going after our knees and our feet. We already almost have this thing, like, leveled up. With only 50 crits. I'm gonna have to, like, grind some crits out before we do the challenge. Because there's no way I'm gonna get, like, 2,500 crits in Outbreak. Chivalry's an untapped market. I'm not too big into it. Isn't that like just like a medieval fighting game? I have played Elden Ring. I haven't finished it though. I do want to get back to it. I did make one video on it, but it did terribly. So I haven't made another one on it. And it was just like, I was kind of just recording while I was playing. And by the time I made the first video on the game, I was like eight bosses deep into the game. And I didn't get to the first boss in that video. Like, I was there, but I didn't beat him. So it just seemed pretty overwhelming to go through, like, 70 hours of, like, footage. They've been doing good OT. They're just little fucking maniacs. Oh, God of War. Gotcha. I, I have... I, I've watched, like, my friends play God of War, but I've never played it myself. I haven't played a whole lot of, like, PlayStation exclusives. I do want to play The Last of Us, though. I think I'm going to get into that soon. Like cats or dogs more? I was always more of a dog person, but now I got cats. I, I, I like them both. I think cats are... I, I like cats for how low maintenance they are. They're pretty, like, independent. We don't got to do nothing. Besides, like, feed them and change the litter box. They're just off doing their own thing all the time. I'm doing good, zombies. How you doing, man? My dog wakes me up at 5 in the morning for breakfast. Blood is addicted. That's true, though. It's like every morning, like at 5, they wake up and start, like, jumping on our heads. Basically, to get food. So we had to, like, start closing the door. Like, once they, once they wake us up, we would, I'll, like, go take a piss or something. And when they walk out of the room, I'm closing the door. I, I do have Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I think I played through, uh, Violet. And beat that. I haven't played it like at all recently though. I was pretty into the game, but post game for Pokemon sucks. There's like never anything to do. Zombies are multiplayer? Zombies. Multiplayer in this game is pretty good though. But it also depends on the multiplayer. Like if I'm playing a game that has good multiplayer, that's pretty fun to hop on there and dick around. But at the moment, I'm pretty, like, zombies over multiplayer. It's the size of a dog. That's a ridiculously big cat. Okay, let me get dead shot. We need some crits. What can I do with the rest of this money? Probably nothing. How many shinies do I have? I actually have a few. Uh, like 20 something. It's been a while since I played, so I don't remember who exactly I got, but I would like try to, you know, hatch eggs for shinies. Do the, like the shiny hunting method with like the picnic, like where you just open the table and close it with like whatever sandwiches, which is a fucking crazy method to make a fucking sandwich in a game to get shinies. Street Sweepers at like level 25 or something. 
We're actually pretty high up there. Wi-Fi turned off on round 60. That sucks. I'd be pissed. I did see that they added Velkin. Or v Velikin. I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but that's the operator I used a lot in Modern for 2019. The fastest way to grind levels for snipers, I would say Outbreak. That's what I used to level everything up. But it's probably especially good for snipers. Because you can actually be at a distance. Hell yeah, let's go zombies. Oh my god, I have no crits. It's gonna be a while. We have thought about playing It Takes Two. We've seen like clips of it. We just haven't started it. We play like Overcooked and like Tools Up, like games like that sometimes. Like, level 24 is where we're at. So let me accept these friend requests. Still has no voice lines? Good. He's like one of those silent but deadly characters. Where's my map? Let's go do this Luminate. This is definitely one of the better, like, bad guns in this game. Like, at least it's, like, semi-automatic. It, it can shoot fast, but the reload is just so bad. Oh, hell yeah, Cade. I got two, uh, gray tabbies. Where's this? Oh, it's right here. Zombies back off. Doesn't ruin the genre. I'm all I'm saying. I'll, I'll say this to everybody that comes in here talking about Mono for three zombies. Don't be expecting anything. It's going to be worse outbreak. Do not expect to have like round base. Do not expect it to be even like good. It's just going to be some like, co like copy and paste zombies, I think. If you go into it with low expectations, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna get fooled. Damn. Going down right next to the self-revive is wild. That's just them trolling you. Here, I'll defend if you want to pick them up. Wait, wait, maybe not. I have to fucking reload this thing. That's another level of cruel by the, the RNG gods and zombies. Downing somebody right next to him. Next to a, a self-revive. What's the best weapon for Forsaken's main event? Honestly, I don't remember what I used. Keep it a buck. So I've done that Easter egg like maybe twice, three times. I don't remember what I use. Okay, um, I guess we can do the crystal event. Is that on this side? It is. Can't be worse than Vanguard. Hey, I would not put it past them to make it worse than Vanguard. Expect Vanguard. Expect Vanguard Outbreak. Uh, it was a uh, HVT. That's why the, the Megaton was red. It was a high value target. So it's basically like an elite. It's like a boss zombie almost. Whenever they're red like that, means they have like more health and they do more damage. And they have like names and stuff sometimes. Or if they are red, they do have a name.
Oh, I see the crystal. Jesse Pinkman be like. I don't know where this last one is, though. There is still more. Yeah, we failed that. That has like the lowest completion rate for me. The crystal event. I like almost never complete those. When do they make the two times for the weapon not good anymore? Is the only way in mo what are you talking about, Paul? Like the scope? The optic? So I mainly just use like a two times. If I got like my weapon class fully leveled, so I'm not wasting an attachment slot. Oh yeah, we already almost have this fully leveled in one game of Outbreak. But I might play uh, a few games of like uh, Forsaken or something to try to get some crits. That way I don't have to do a whole lot when I go to do uh, Legion. Should play DMZ. I think DMZ's cool and all. But there's nothing to do in there. Like, I don't care about any of those challenges. Like, X-Fill with, like, three computer parts. Or go do the Hokey Pokey in El Masra Square. Like, I don't give a fuck about those challenges, to be real. I'm still not sure what you're saying, Paul. Thanks, Brandon. Appreciate you stopping by, dude. Thanks for chilling. That's my gamer tag for Cold War. Do exclamation point ID. Your account got banned yesterday? For what? Shorts? What account? Cold War? Are you hacking? What else we got? Just our main event. Go ahead and start that up over there. Whoever's driving the boat. God69. Great gamer tag. You can make the AI in DMZ as your friends now. That's kind of cool, at least. Oh, damn, shorts. Is there anything you can do with that? You can tell Activision, like, look, this dude banned my account or some shit. If you did an exclamation point ID, then uh, just look for Night Thoughts chat and I'll put it in there. Maybe a Night Bot's just not here right now. I don't know what the fuck Night Bot's doing. Yeah, the elites were really difficult to do like early in Cold War's life cycle. Because D Machina, the only elite that you had was a Megaton. That was the only thing to fight. And they don't spawn that often. Perimeter. Can I climb this? There we go. Hell no, you're not living disciple. Hell no. Hell yeah, Vaughn. Uh, mainly what I do for leveling up is what you're seeing right here. I just play Outbreak and try to do every main event. Every event that they got. Kill as many zombies as you can. And Outbreak, it's definitely better for leveling if you're playing with multiple people. Like, you're playing with, a, like, a party of people. You get more zombies, more XP. And if you're, like, playing on PlayStation and you party with a friend that's on PlayStation, you get more. But if you're playing on doing it solo, Onslaught might be better.
say headshot's bad. Wait until you play Cold War, you'll get a camo. I think the only camo that like I don't have at the end is the headshots. Headshots is always like the last thing I get. Because I get like all the elites done just by playing like Outbreak. If I were to do like all leveling and only play on D Machina, elites would definitely be the last thing to get done. Let's go, Logan. Yeah, I know there's more, there's new weapons in MW2, but I'm just not into that game at the moment. I got bored of it. I probably took a VK. It does just do whatever the hell it wants. Or the headshots are what it always, like, I'm falling behind on. I upgrade this at all. Oh, we can get the purple. Crazy how it takes three, like, games of Outbreak or three regions to get it to purple. Or if you just do all the Easter eggs, you spawn with it. Can I repair my armor? Do I have enough for that? Yeah. Alright. Okay. Guys, remind me after this exfil to put on attachments for this because I forget. I be forgetting. Also, if you're trying to play, be ready to join in because I'm making a new uh, lobby after this. What do you think is the meta in Cold War or what? For like zombies? M79 with PhD upgraded is the meta. For multiplayer, I couldn't tell you. It used to be like the Tech 9. I haven't really like followed multiplayer meta in a while. Why is it bouncing between 54 and like 20 enemies? You guys see that? What is that? Are we gonna stream? I don't know actually. Because we're already pretty close to getting this done, but. Like getting this thing le fully leveled up. But I do wanna get like. At least like 1700 crits. Because getting crits in an outbreak just is so slow. Are we getting the lobby still? Damn. Yeah, because COD lobbies just suck. They've never made it so like the lobbies just work flawlessly, but just a little warning ahead of time. Is the Street Sweeper actually worth upgrading? I mean, it's not awful. It's just the reload on it that's like so bad. It's definitely better than doing like the Iron Hide. Alright, let me get out of these menus, and I am starting a new lobby. First come, first serve to who gets in. And magazines, first thing I'm upgrading. Going to 18 rounds. I don't know if I want a faster fire rate on this. It's already kind of fast. I want, like, more damage. Damage range probably good. Oh, striker with the 149. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. With the golden peach. Thanks, dude. Thanks for supporting the channel. Trying to get the E tool. What's the unlock for it? I don't remember. Oh, isn't it get a kill with like a... No, wait. That was the hammer and sickle. It was getting like a, a tomahawk kill and a... Uh, a melee kill in the same life. I don't remember what the, the tomahawk or the E tool unlock was. Yeah, we need so many crits. So I'll probably play another game of Outbreak, and then we might play a little bit of like Forsaken or something. That way we can get a few crits. Obsidian is the best camo? That was like my most disappointing camo. I like the idea of that grind, but the 
the reward for it sucked. I did not like Obsidian at all. Thanks, Felix. Appreciate it. Thanks for the reminder. You too, Nose Hair and Yusuf. It's better in multiplayer and hardcore. People that use it in hardcore, fuck them. That was the most annoying thing to run into. What's that character skin I use in the video? The Galaxy Gloves? That's a Mason Tier 100 skin from the Season 6 Battle Pass. I don't think you can get it anymore. But it is like the best Battle Pass reward like we've ever seen in this game. Mario has a lot of space by pack a bunch of train for crits. I was just going to go on like Forsaken Starting Room and grind them out there. How more lobbies we're going to do? Probably this one and then like one of on Forsaken. I just want to get a few crits before I try out this like uh, going for Legion. I agree with that, Matt. Damascus is really, really good camo. Especially like the, even though like Mario for 2019 wasn't the craziest game. I still liked it because it was like my first COD back and playing. But the lighting in that game along with Damascus made it look so good. But I do really like uh, Dark Aether, too. I feel like those are the two best camos to come out in COD in recent history. Orion looks pretty cool, too. Anatomic was nice, but I did not like the Vanguard grind. Aw, oh, damn. I'm sorry, Striker. I did stream a little earlier today than we normally do, though. But time zones are a bitch. Energy research has a satellite in position. ECMs are ready for launch. Strike team. Head to the Polytomic's all right. Not my favorite camo. Which one did you hate and it grew on you, Matt? Because I felt like I really liked Plague Diamond. Like when it was leaked for Cold War. Like, in, like a few hours before the game came out or something. Like I really liked how Plague Diamond looked. And then the more and more I played Cold War, I didn't like it as much. Uh, yeah, you do, Chloe. If you play with other PlayStation players, you get an XP boost. It was pretty much just animated Damascus. Yeah, it was like the same pattern. They switched up some colors. That's why I like it. Damascus? I think I liked it from the jump. I think Damascus was a great camo overall, but I do see how it can like grow on people. What's going on, IDK? Got Dark Aether on Vanguard zombies. I'm sorry. I I hated that grind. It was so slow and boring. If you want to do it efficiently, and then the camo reward for it looked like Minecraft watermelon. I didn't like that camo at all. It is definitely an accomplishment to unlock it, but I'm sorry you went through that. What is the only part you enjoyed about Vanguard Zombies? I liked Shinonuma Reborn. I think that's probably the best version of Shinonuma. Outside of like all the other versions of it are like the World at War version only having like 24 zombies around. But I think it is like the coolest version of Shinonuma. Just like as a map. What was my first COD? The first COD I ever played was COD 3, but the first COD I ever played, like, non-casually was Mono for 2019. Like, I would play CODs here and there, but i never get, like, too into it. I wouldn't really go for the camo grind. I wouldn't be, like, up to date with things happening in it. I would just play it. I'd hop on every once in a while. When Mono for 2019 came out, I, I played that game a lot, and I started getting into the grind of everything. You refunded Vanguard two days after you bought it, say so on for two. I get that. No, no, I was in denial for a bit with Vanguard. I was like, nah, it'll get better, it'll get better. And then it didn't. MW2 is overhated. I don't I don't think it's overhated. Because there's people that like it, but it just the the thing that rubs me wrong about it is that they they try to make it like a whole reboot of MW2 and then didn't include anything from the like OG MW2 except for like to like nostalgia bait us on the Warzone map. And then they made it like one of the 
like the slowest cards to play of all time. Like it completely eliminated my like play style of like rush down. Did you hear about them making COD all start from the same thing? So I have up the stream. Oh, I did see that. That does kind of suck. I don't know why they're doing it now. It's like, just do it with all the new games coming out. You don't have to put every single COD into that. Like, I understand why they do it, but it's not necessary. You don't need to make like a whole COD HQ with every single COD in it. They tried too hard to make it like the original. I think they they tried too hard to make it not like the OG MW2. I think they tried so hard to get like far away from that. I'm still reloading this gun. This is fucking ridiculous. Oh, there's a self revive up here. I gotcha. I just think with Modern Warfare 2, they... They kind of just did the opposite of what everyone wanted. And they're like, they'll still eat this up. And people did. Oh, there it is. Did we get them all? Or are they outside? Damn. Another failed crystal event. Oh, it was right here. Damn. I need to go pack a punish this thing, but I'm broke. We gotta go do our Dragon D's event, too. I'm getting on us. What the fuck is this thing? I always want to call them jet skis, but I know that's wrong. Snowmobile. Was the best mode tomorrow for two for long shots? Honestly, I don't know. Uh, oh, at hardcore for sure. Actually, I play hardcore and then I try to get any maps that are have like good distance on them. Mercury, let's go. Y'all hop in here. All right, I'm leaving. Uh, I think it was a different game. They did well. They did Modern Warfare 2 remastered for the campaign, but not multiplayer. They did Modern Warfare remastered, like MWR. Twin bitches hopping off a jet ski. I think Embassy Embassy's not bad for it. It's got a few good lanes. I really like uh, Tarak or Tarek or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it. But the one map out in like the desert. That's what I, I like dream for when I'm trying to get long shots. That and like shoot house. Oh, gotcha, Mercury. Honestly, I don't really like the, the race map. Like the, the race car map on MW2. It's decent for long shots, but you have to like everybody runs inside on that map and all the long shot angles are outside. So it like takes a while. Since spawn with deployable, that's basically like any map. Deployable does help out a lot though. And if you got mounted kills to go for, helps that out too. Yeah, I'll, I'll get there eventually, Paul. I do want to try those games out. I've been working on uh, some big projects. All right, see you, Matt. Thanks for coming and chilling, dude. Appreciate you. Well, they, they did say that it was going to be just campaign, to be fair. Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. But it is a big disappointment they didn't just remaster the multiplayer. They probably didn't do it because this game was in, or Modern Warfare 2 was in development. 
A new MW2. Ooh, can I clear this? Well, let's fucking go. This is the best part about this map. Like, it's a bitch to go all the way up the mountain, but coming down from it is sick. You can just glide all the way down. No vehicles required. Hey, no spoilers, Paul. Actually, I'm gonna go pack a bunch for this event. But I have heard nothing but good things about, like, Infinite Warfare Zombies. I do want to play it. I just try to get loose change on a pack punch machine. My brain is busted. Burgers are pizza pizza for sure. I'm not a big burger guy. I'm not a big fan of it. I'm a chicken sandwich over a burgers guy. I think the best gun is for Onslaught. Anything with a fast fire rate. And not like a slow reload. Those always do well in Onslaught. I don't know if they'll ever remaster BO2 or BO1. If they do, it'll be a while from now, I think. Would be cool if they did it, though. I'd be glad to be proven wrong. So those games are sweet. I feel like if they want to remaster it, they have to remaster both multiplayer and zombies. I don't know if they'd do that. So it would suck to just get one or the other. How many accounts do I have Dark Aether? Just two. But this is my third. And we're going to get Dark Aether on this one. Now I definitely will, Paul. <laughs> I'm just busting your balls, but... That's like uh, when you see a spoiler for a show that you haven't watched yet. But you somehow, like, remember that. I'm not mad about it or nothing. I just like to be surprised by the, the maps when I go into it. It's like, oh, I didn't know this was going to happen, you know? Chicken game for life, I'm with that. Chicken over beef for sure. Damn, we have no not enough speed to break this. I hate to see it. Will I get dead shot? I probably should have. I should have had it by now. Yeah, definitely. I'm getting it right now. Thanks for reminding me. Easiest loose change of my life. I got stamina up too. I should, probably should have got speed cola. Anything specific you can use for Onslaught? I just use an SMG. Try the Tech 9. I have literally five points. How does that happen? How do you get five points from what? Oh, you get like 25 points for zombies kills and on or outbreak. Ring of fire in the street sweeper is nice. It just sucks when the ring of fire ends. You got to actually reload this thing. It is pretty decent though that once it's pack a punch, you can reload five bolts at a time, but it's still so slow. neck be hurting i gotta find like a different setup for my camera so i can actually raise my desk because i have a, a standing desk and i can do this that way i'm actually looking up to play but then y'all can't see me you gotta find out something different to do i want to just like uh maybe mount my camera up on the wall that'd probably be easier oh let's go jimmy that was a good one that was the video where I, uh, I did the intro twice on there. I accidentally, I didn't cut out one of the takes for it. I don't know how I didn't notice it at the very fucking beginning of the video. 
That was a fun one. I, I am going to do round 100 or try to beat that highest round on uh, Firebase C sometime soon. We were doing streams every week where I try to go like round 100 or whatever, trying to get like as many kills as I can so I can work on that Dark Ops. I've just been busy the last two weeks. I do want to get back to it. It would be a lot easier if you can just remove the mag on the street sweeper. And just put a whole new one in. Let's go Elysio. I've been wanting to get back into Minecraft. I saw they got like cherry blossom biomes now. Try the social distancing. I have done that. We, we've done that on this account already. We did that while we were doing, uh, I think maybe the M16. I think we were doing it with the M16. I definitely used a death machine for some of it, though. Kind of had to. I did get a new camera last year. I upgraded from just like, uh, a Logitech Brio to an actual camera. I have a, a Sony A6000 now. I got it as a gift because one of my siblings had it and they didn't use it anymore. So it's like perfect for a webcam. What's up, Riley? Yeah, I do want to see that the cherry blossom biome. It seems sick. Black Noir skin's better than Homelander. Well, it's probably like more quote unquote pay to win since it's like harder to see in like uh, shadows and shit. Oh no! I don't know. I think Homelander would be cool. Let's go online. No disease. I haven't played Skyblock in forever. That's a fun challenge. Oh, that was both of them? Panzers are so ass. They can't do shit. Alright, let's go do our Dragon D's event. Uh, I've done one before, Paul, and it's basically like the same thing as it was there. Like at my, my parents' house. I haven't really changed my setup too much. I'm not doing the Legion boss right now, but I, when we do get the Street Sweeper done, I'm doing the Legion boss. Like when we go and do the camos for it. I'm going to get a little bit of camos done today, but I'm not going to like record the video and everything like live on stream. Do a Minecraft hardcore series? I don't know. Maybe. I was thinking about having like a second channel where I play like different games and shit like that. But I would need an editor for that because I can't... It's already hard enough editing for this channel just on my own. And to get an editor, I want to be able to pay them like a good rate. Like something fair. I don't got the money for that at the moment. What map do you think is the easiest around 100 on? The easiest would probably be Forsaken. Because you can just M79 in the pizza room and just use a death machine for whenever like an abomination shows up. You barely have to like think. But the fastest would be like D Machina if you can do Penthouse. So it took me a while to get Penthouse down. I could not like survive in Penthouse for the longest time. He's bricked up. Isn't Homelander bricked up too? And he's got cheeks. I, I, I do have a second channel. But I have not posted on there in like years at this point. I have not used it. There's just a lot to edit for two channels. Like right now I'm already like taking my time with my videos. And try to make like quality content for this one.
Yeah, I played Minecraft like the day it released on the Xbox 360. So I originally bought it like on my laptop, but I downloaded the fucking like Linux version of it. So I never got to play it on there until like a few years later. I'm a fucking idiot. But I, I played Minecraft like day one on the 360. I even like skipped school the next day to keep playing. Minecraft on the 360 was awesome. How long have I played Cold War? Uh, since after I got Dark Matter, like the first year of Cold War, after I got Dark Matter, my main account is when I start playing it. Going for Dark Aether. Total time though? I don't know. It's got to be like thousands of hours. What challenge will I do on Minecraft? I think I'll probably just play Minecraft. I don't know if I try to do some crazy challenge. Uh, Minecraft's just a game you want to enjoy. I don't want to be trying to do any like tough shit on there. They have the Aetherium, Moving to the rocket. Besides being quite heavy, uh, I might, Paul. Like, I, I still have to get like Gold Viper. So I probably have to like kill every zombie. I'll have to do like every event to get me set up too. I'm definitely going to try to avoid picking up any like wonder weapons if any drop because every single time I, I do legion everyone tells me that you get way less elite spawns without like picking up wonder weapons. I had java. I don't think I've played bedrock before but I heard bedrock's pretty good. You can check the playtime in the barracks. Yeah but I have it like spread out between like multiple accounts. Like I, I have um three different accounts that I've played this on. It's called Cherry Grove Biome. That's sweet. Because Renee keeps sending me like Instagram reels or something of like the, the Cherry Blossom Biome. And I, I just want to play some Minecraft. Someone who plays Bedrock, you hate it. What's like so different about it though? I know they have like different features, but I don't really know like what specifically. Why are no zombie spawning? I mainly hang on to these because we get like a crazy amount of zombie spawns. If nothing's spawning, we can just end this one. I have not. I don't, I don't know who that is, Burly. It's lagging again. That's ass. What motivates me to keep doing camos? I don't know. I like playing the game and I like the feeling of like getting something done while doing it. Just worse overall compared to Java. I, I'll say true because I'm a Java stan. I've only ever really played the Java version outside of like playing the Xbox version. I probably should have got pack two. And I should have probably upgraded my weapon. I just default upgraded my armor. That's fucking stupid. What a waste. All right. Well, I guess I'll get an apalm burst so I can do a little more damage for this next region. Still a decent game though. Yeah, I, I'm sure any version of Minecraft is pretty decent. Oh, bedrock slide. Yeah, I thought you were talking about the stream. Bedrock is for console, mobile, and PC, and Java is just PC. Yeah, I've only really played the Java version. Well, besides, like, the Xbox version. I did play a little Pocket Edition, too, but that was, like, when it was very, very early on, and there wasn't really anything in it. Did you play Legacy Minecraft? What's that? Wonder weapons are a myth on Legion, really? I would always get that though. People say like, don't bring a wonder weapon into it and you're still, you're gonna get too many elites. But if it don't matter, then maybe I'll bring one just to like kill zombies and get 
my field upgrade. Uh, I think we're going to hop on like Forsaken after this, Jimmy. And I'm just going to grind out like some crits. So I don't have to do so many when we go to record the video. Just be it two times this weekend for people and they had uh, DIE machines and ray guns. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe I will pick one up then if I see one. I'm going straight to Orda. Remember, if you guys are in game, don't immediately kill Orda. Actually, what level I'm at. Okay, we might be able to kill Orda a little early. Actually, fuck it. Let's just fuck him up immediately. Fuck Orda. Mainly, we just go after his spawns. But I'm good on levels. I'm basically fully leveled up. I could use a few more crits, but... I'm down to fuck up Orda. Yeah, this is an open lobby, Jimmy. If you do x point ID, you can add me. Hear about the Red Dead 1 release? They're charging $50 for a third... Oh, really? They're just re-releasing it? No, I didn't see that. They're not, like... Remastering it at all? Like, it's not gonna be updated graphics or nothing? They're just, like... Throwing it on there? No, I don't. I don't really watch anime. The only anime I ever watched is like Pokemon. Can I even hit him from here? Oh, I can. Barely. I'm shooting him right in the dick. What you gonna do about it, Orda? Oh, shit. What's the best strategy for getting crystals? Uh, you can play Outbreak in like... Just try to complete the events, go to like Wave 3 in Xfil. That's a pretty decent way to get it. Like some uh, Aether Crystals. But if you want to get a lot of Crystals, just try to get to a high round in Xfil. That's probably the easiest way. Or not the easiest, but like... The best way to get a lot of Crystals fast. Let me try to get a Ring of Fire. Oh, he's already dead. I don't even gotta worry about it. Let's breeze through these. Is there not a third event on here? I'm always we only did order and this. I don't see anything else. It is remastered Red Dead Redemption 1 with some Red Dead Redemption 2 elements from what you heard. What elements are they adding in from it? I honestly haven't played Red Dead Redemption 2, like a whole lot. I played a little bit of it, but then I stopped. Like, I played it until the multiplayer came out, and then I played the multiplayer for a bit, and then that sucks, so I just stopped playing. I really like Red Dead Redemption. I played that a lot when it came out. Uh, I don't know if I've ever played, like, a Starfield game. Or maybe I'm thinking of, like, Starcraft. I don't know what Starfield is. You get Flawless Crystals on a Round 3 Exfil? I think I've been getting them, yeah. I think I got two last game. Like, those are the only crystals I can get because I have everything. Like, I maxed out on all the other crystals. I'm pretty sure you get flawless crystals. We'll see after this, I guess. Oh, the money ball orb. That's not really an event, though, is it? That's just, like, a side thing that shows up. Like, it doesn't count as, like, the one of the main three. Maybe there's a crystal event hidden under something. I'm just not seeing. Alright, yeah. We're max level for this. So go ahead and break those orbs if you guys want. Let's go duck. Glad I could help, dude. I do not play Pokemon Go. I played it a bit, like that summer when it was like huge. I haven't really played it that much since. 
every once in a while here and there. I picked it back up again when like Let's Go Eevee came out and Eevee and Pikachu. You could transfer Pokemon from there into that game. But I, I don't really play it too much now. Legacy is the updated version of 360? Oh, okay. I gotcha. It isn't a re remaster, it's just a 13 year old game costing $50. That sucks. Can't say I'm surprised though. those orbs up beat those orbs ass get over here swarm nice I dare this one to fly at me right now. Well, I got this ring of fire up. Try me, bitch. Oh, I fucking missed the snipe on that. Oh, thanks for shooting for me. I appreciate it. Nut allergy shorts. I'm gonna lie, Adam. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Say like nut allergy shots. I I mean I I don't think so. You still might be able to join on EU servers. I got his onslaught for XP. XP is your biggest concern. Honestly. I don't really like Onslaught that much for XP. I mainly use Outbreak for it, but other people like... They, they stand by it. They say it's great. I don't know. Like, I always get my guns leveled up pretty fast and just Outbreak. People say, like, after, like, 12 surges of Onslaught, it gets better because you get, like, more zombies spawning in. And, like, that, the levels you get per zombie don't change in Onslaught. An outbreak they do, but just a little bit, and it's only per region. But I feel like I get a lot more done in outbreak. Oh, I got you, Adam. Joe Burrow or Patrick Mahomes? You're crazy for taking anybody over Patrick Mahomes. It's the best quarterback in the league. Dude, it's just too nasty. A Nuketown God Mode glitch? They got a God Mode glitch on Nuketown? The fuck? What about round base? Round base? After every round, the XP goes down. So I do not recommend playing round base for XP. Your XP per zombie goes down so much. Yeah, I think Outbreak is the best way to level up. It's still gonna be slow though. Like, getting weapon XP isn't like insanely fast doing anything. I mean, it's been an hour 40 and we have this leveled up. We've had it leveled up since like the start. 
of like this region we really didn't have to go past uh like level 30 to get camos but we wanted to go to level 36 just to make sure i had every attachment since i'm going to be using it against legion but outbreak's pretty good for levels it's it's really good for getting to like level 30 on weapons but after level 30 xp just going to be slow as shit no matter what you do so maybe play outbreak till you get to level 30 and then try onslaught maybe that's like the best combo to do i don't know shit about fuck let's go on scooby Imagine you get DM Ultra and zombies, you can. It's, it's Dark Aether. I think a BO4? It was definitely way over, like, hated. Like, everyone going into it was telling me I was going to hate BO4. And then I played the zombies and it wasn't bad. Oh, I thought I was about to die right there from that fall damage. Thank you, Caleb. Appreciate it, dude. I cost you 60 bucks. How? What I do? I can't fucking do anything. Slightly bum bum. I feel like I remember the name. Call me Jizz Money. Come on, bro. But Pop Tarts are pretty decent. If this is a D's joke, I'm banning you, though. Ain't no way. So I got friends that are a friend that hates on Pop Tarts because he thinks toaster strudels are better. And they definitely are. But Pop Tarts are not bad. Favorite fast food restaurant? Honestly, I don't even know anymore. I think right now Taco Bell probably. Because it's still like more on the cheaper end of fast food. Might get some tonight actually. Sounds good. Outbreak and hardcore are pretty fast. I don't know. I feel like multiplayer is very slow for levels. I guess if it works for you, it works for you. I don't know. It, it just feels slower in multiplayer because you're constantly like going back to lobby, loading into the next game, going back to lobby, going to the next game. And Outbreak, you're constantly playing and you're constantly getting XP. Pop tarts are foul, bro. Come on. No, they're not. They're just sugar. Yeah, yeah. Forsaken's gonna be an open lobby. Or maybe, maybe we should do a different map. I don't know. Yeah, Forsaken's not bad. Just don't try to do the Easter egg if you're in the lobby. I don't want to do the Easter eggs unless it's in a video. So I'm just gonna try to get some crits. That way I don't have to do too many more later. What game would I rather play? Minecraft or Cold War? Probably Cold War right now, because I can make content on it and everything, but Minecraft sounds kind of fun. But yeah, it'll be an open lobby, whatever map we play. I'll probably just do Forsaken. Exactly why they're foul? I mean, I guess. I don't think they taste bad at all. The chocolate fudge sundae is best? That is pretty gas. I like the s'mores one, too. Alright, I'm making a new lobby. First come, first serve to who gets in. Also, sorry for those of you that added me during that game. I don't know if you'll have much of a chance to get into this one. But I appreciate y'all. So, how many crits are we at? I'll try to go tell my threshold camo. That's still a lot of crits. Would it probably be better to play on a different map to get crits? Because there isn't really like a camping spot on Forsaken. 
Unless we go into like the Ronald Ray Gun room. Well, we'll probably die in there. Whatever. We'll just try it. Uh. I'll try to get all the way up to the threshold camo. Cherry Pop Tart the best? Eh. I kind of like it when it's extra sugar. Can you milk me? No. The fuck? I always thought it would be funny because there was one time where I think I ordered like an SSD or something on Amazon and I got like, I got like milk or breastfeeding pumps or whatever, like the silicone parts of the cups. I, I tweeted about it before. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it had something to do with breastfeeding. And I thought it'd be funny to like get an actual pump. Remember Little Big Planet? I do remember it, but I didn't really ever play it. I didn't really have a PlayStation until like Vanguard. What's up, Lizzie? Brown Sugar's S tier? That is a pretty good one. The one that comes in like the multi packs. I always go after that one before I go after like the strawberry or whatever. Yeah, I know the Perka Hockey Strike on Forest on Forsaken. I just did a video where we did all the side Easter eggs in Cold War, and that one was like the one that like inspired the video. I do still need pack a punch kills too on top of getting crits. I'm gonna do that. I probably should have changed my attachments out, but this is probably fine. Going on, Vinny. A W for like in zombies more than the campaign? Absolutely. I feel like that's not that far out there. The campaigns are good, but like how many times are you gonna play through the campaign, you know? Doing the same story over and over again. At least for zombies, it's like a challenge to like try to get to a different round or do like the Easter egg or something. I'm already going into the facility. I need pack punch now. When will a striker vid be uploaded? Probably later this week. I'm going to try to work on, I've been working on a video where I do uh, the first room challenge on every map since I never really tried it outside of the Halloween event. I'm almost done with that one, but it, I need to send it to, I have a sponsor for that one, so I need to send it to them to make sure it gets approved before I can put it out once I'm done editing it. So I think that will probably come out first, then the striker video, because I don't know how long it's going to take me to beat Legion. It might be a bit. It might be a while. Because I feel like every time I, I do these Easter eggs, I fail them and I have to retry them. And the Outbreak one takes forever. Oh, Mark, what's going on, dude? Hell no, I ain't saying that. But I appreciate you, Mark. Uh, how you been, man? I need money to get through here. Maybe I should have stayed in the first room. I, I was just so eager to go get Pack-A-Punch because this thing fucking reloads so slow. Played the World at War campaign like 18 times? Damn. You're a better man than me. I would have been bored on the second one run through. Actually, maybe the second one would have been fine. By 18 times is a lot. Oh, what's up, Nay? Nay in the chat. Nay, do you want to go get Taco Bell after the stream? I kind of want a, a potato taco. Those like crunchy potato, the spicy potato. Those are gas. By who did you get sponsored? I'm not gonna say yet because it's not fully out yet, but I'll give you a hint. It's a it's a food delivery service. And it's one that I've used like a decent amount too. So I was pretty excited to see that they wanted uh, to work with me. Oh yeah. Right. I need I need y'all with the bucks to be opening some of these doors because I'm broke. Sorry, Patty. Car's full. Come to New Zealand on a holiday and try a potato pot pie or top pie. Could be gas though. 
Yeah, that street sweeper does kind of fucking suck, especially not pack a punch. Look at this shit. Takes forever to reload. I could I could reassemble the gun in that amount of time with enough practice. You're just doing this for your job. You're still doing. Uh, I'm doing this full time now. I, I don't got my my side job anymore. I quit that. So I got a house and I kind of mainly kept that job just so I could get a mortgage easier. And now that I got the house, I quit. Nah, it's, that, it's not them, Skater. Getting that grilled- they have that? They have a grilled cheese taco? That's wild. Uh, what I mainly get is like the chipotle chicken melt, but then they also have like the chipotle potato taco, which is like basically the same thing, but potatoes instead. And it's gas. Oh, you only did outbreak open lobbies? Why, why are you on Forsaken? Well, we already got it fully leveled up, but for our the challenge we got to do with this is we got to get it Gold Viper while fighting Legion. And getting 2,500 crits in Outbreak sucks. And it's going to take way too long. So I'm going to get a few crits here on Forsaken before we head into it. The Lockman sub or the Fennec? Uh, actually, I don't know. Maybe the Lockman sub, but the Fennec seems like it could do some work. Tesla Storm or Ring of Fire, which one do you like better? Ring of Fire, of course. Tesla Storm is probably better for Outbreak, but it's like, it's pretty gun dependent. If you have anything with like a, some sort of fire rate, Ring of Fire is your best bet. If you're using something that don't shoot too fast, Tesla Storm is probably better. Oh, I still need money for pack a punch. You missed the fire Doritos tacos. Honestly, the Doritos Locos are, they're kind of what like got me into Taco Bell a little bit. But I'm not a big fan of like hard shell tacos. They just fall apart. Bro, I ain't doing no Easter egg. If y'all start the Easter egg, I'll leave. Y'all can do some side Easter eggs or something. But I ain't doing the main quest. I'm just here to get crits. Oh, this might be my last game if I get enough crits. Now it's black screen. There we go. But if y'all start doing steps, I'm backing out and playing solo. I ain't about to do the Easter egg on a non-video. I'm sorry. Do I have the invincible calling card? What do you got to do for that one? I don't know if I do or not. Let's go on, kill Where are the zombies at? I actually might have to play like Onslaught or something to get some headshots. Just to guarantee zombies will be by me. Can uh, everybody in the game come on over to the first room or kill the zombies on you? Thanks. Oh, round 30 with no downs? Yeah, I got that. I was actually surprised when we had that, that Dark Ops. Because uh, on our last challenge, we had to do a Dark Ops while getting our gun done. And I was going to plan on doing that and I already had it. So we had to do like round 20 on our weapon with no upgrades. That is two. Or that is two. That is true. Strike team did stay up there longer than they should have. That shit is like nuclear up there. We're hiding in fear of the nut enjoyer. Honestly, though. I hate this thing. This needs to be pack a punch now. Oh my Lanta, this gun fucking sucks with no money. Just reloading simulator. Let's 
It's my favorite non-Treyarch Zombies map. I haven't played like any of the non-Treyarch Zombies. I'm not gonna lie to you, Chief. So I haven't got one. But I feel like I'd like them a lot. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Oh, fuck off. I can't even shoot my way out of that. Oh, bullshit. I got your back. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm still too broke. This is the one thing I don't like about playing co-op Cold War. It's because I played solo for so long, I can like control the pace of the game. But when there's people like everywhere on the map and you're not getting like enough zombie spawns, it feels like it goes so slow. Have any tips for zombies? If you do exclamation point DA, I have a whole uh, guide for like getting dark aether and just zombies in general. Isn't MW2 a non Treyarch game? Oh, are you talking about like, I thought you were talking about zombies maps for non Treyarch games. So I don't know. Probably like shoot house then if we're talking about like uh, multiplayer maps. You have ADS aim assist on. I found it pulls your crosshair to the chest. It sucks for critical kills. I, I have seen that it does pull to the chest for critical kills, but it's fine once I get dead shot. Like, I don't really care if I buy dead shot. This is gonna suck. I'm gonna go down and then have even less money. Or, or completely die and have even less money. The car arcade machine. I can't drive those for shit. At least not on keyboard and mouse. I can probably do it on controller. Oh, now I'm dead. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought you were talking about zombies maps. There so far has not been any zombies maps in Modern Warfare games, but we'll see. Are we about to fail? If we do fail this game, though, I'm going to go to Taco Bell and I'll just get these crits on my own time. I right, see you, Adam. Thanks for coming and chilling. Appreciate you. people think DMZ was a zombies mode? I think so, just from there being a Z in there. DMZ zombies would be sick though. Like we were talking like a few streams ago about how it'd be cool to have a DMZ type outbreak mode. Like if they just add DMZ elements to outbreak, it would kind of make outbreak a little more replayable. Appreciate that, Adam. It means a lot. My favorite zombies map ever? Probably Mob of the Dead or like Shadows of Evil. I like both those maps a lot. Damn, that mimic wanted you dead. Went and snagged you twice. It is very blue in this room now. I forgot how it looked with the uh, lockdown activated or the button hit or whatever. Sounds like a playing lemon. Ugh. A D machine? Is Die D machine or is that a different map? Or Die Rise or Darius? So how's the evil in Darius and Drac? Honestly, I never got the hype around Darius and Drac. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's an alright map, but I don't see why it's like everybody's favorite. The bows are cool and everything, and I like the zero gravity area. But like, 
It's not like a map that I'm like yearning to play. Like play. Thanks, Cade. Appreciate you, dude. There he has more mimics than Firebase C. I think it's because they started the Easter egg stuff. So, so many more elites are spawning. Oh, I got 8,000 now? Get rich quick scheme. I'm getting pack a punch immediately. Rosen House? Oh, is that in World War II? I haven't played World War II zombies, but I, I always thought it looked pretty cool. Like, it looks like it'd be a scary uh, zombies game. My favorite Cold War Zombies map? Probably Forsaken. Or Firebase C. Just because I got like a lot of history on Firebase C. Where's the Forsaken growling at us? What's going on, Thin Bug? Also, Bumblebee, if I, I don't answer the question right away, you know, you don't gotta spam it. I'll either get to it or I don't. That's actually good to hear. Why is that? You see that? Y'all saw that, right? The big glowing purple. But it's good to hear that there's still like zombies maps out there that like are scary. I want that. I want maps to be scary. That's the kind of like feeling I get when I play the maps in vr like playing baruct in vr was terrifying like you get used to it after a bit but it's cool to have that feeling again of like oh shit this is scary my favorite bo4 bat map damn dude i can't speak for shit i would say uh was it nine ix x xi whatever map that has like the, the coliseum i think that's just fun that was like the coolest starting room out of any map. Where the fuck are the zombies at, by the way? Oh, here they are. Still not even getting headshots. This is bullshit. This is bullshit and a half. I'm shooting way high in the air. There we go. That better be a headshot. Hey, don't be calling me Joey, Patty. Let's... let's, let's Let's nip that in the bud right there. Of course not. I'm a man. I'm not ticklish. Don't tell Renee. She'll come in here and try to tickle me. I have played like a decent amount of BO3 custom maps. They didn't do very well when I was playing them back in the day though. Maybe I should try them again. So I had a lot of fun playing them. It's just like, if it's not doing well on YouTube, it's not worth to like keep posting it. Cause it just means like your next videos won't do well. That's just how the, the, the algae works. the hardest easter egg in cold war legion and they want me to do it with this fucking thing right here that we're holding i feel like i can never get like a critical kill on a mimic anymore i see the yellow text pop up and everything but i feel like i don't get the critical kill and that's ass i thought i was training fucking well there Yeah, I, I do want to play World War II. Uh, it does have like the scariest aesthetic out of all like the recent COD games. It's gone cheesy. I'm not getting anything done. I have 46 crits here. I might back out and just play on my own. Cause I'm getting fucked up. Actually, what time is it? Hmm. I actually might just end the stream right here. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm gonna quit out of this game. I'm gonna try to get some of the crits on my own time. I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm even gonna try to do Legion tonight because I wanna try to work on that video, but I'm hungry. 
I'm gonna go get food. We already got this thing leveled up. So I'll work on these crits some other time. I'll, I'll try to get up enough so I can actually unlock Gold Viper or whatever, Plague Diamond on our shotguns while I'm fighting Legion. But I appreciate y'all coming and stopping by. I'm sorry for the, the issues early into the stream. I'm gonna call my ISP again and make sure that there's not shit happening. Like I'm gonna fucking have a, have a chat with them. But appreciate you guys coming and chilling. 